At the Maker Faire Orlando, I saw this shipping container, and I wasn't really sure what it was, so I came up to check it out, and it turns out it is a massive 3D printer and mill. It's called Millie. Here are the basics. The entire system is built into the shipping container. The mechanical structures, the computers that run everything, it's all in there. You ship this container anywhere in the world, set it down, open it up, and you're ready to start making stuff. It's a two-step process where the machine 3D prints a layer with their special concoction that comes out soft and then hardens at 200 degrees, and then you come back and you mill it for precision shapes. I was able to speak with several members of the team. Let's hear what they have to say. My name is Carlos Vega. I am CEO of Melba, Melba Corporation, and this is our Millie. We have the infrastructure to move these containers across the world. It's been in existence for over 50 years. We know how to move this. But right now, the way the industry occurs, we have static factories that sit in one location and cost an immense amount of money to operate and run. Why have we not thought about taking the factory to the material? Why have we not thought about taking the factory to the crisis? Why have we not thought about taking the ability to manufacture to where it's actually needed? That's what it simply comes down to. We can deposit this in Louisiana and discuss during flooding. If they need a retainer wall built, we can deposit a machine like this to build the retainer walls using material collected. Our additive goes to the substrate found at the location mixed together along the head, heated by this plate, and then we can immediately cure it. So being able to build on location is what we've aimed for. And all the individual companies that are involved with Millibot right now are all aiming with the common goal of flipping the market, literally making this the deliverable company, the deliverable industry, the way to build what we need. Hi, I am Marcos Cruz, I'm the founder of Cruz Art, and I designed the machine that is uh, installed inside the container for Millibot. When I was first brought to the team, the first challenge that I had to address was that I noticed that the space was quite confined, so I had to create a design that kept the rails from getting dirty from debris. So I decided to mount the rails on the wall and utilize just one of the structures of the container. That way, if the container were to have any deflection, it will not affect the machine's performance as it lands from job to job. Hello, my name is Nate Jennings. I'm with Nerd.net, and I built the infrastructure backend as well as built the platform for the UI. So while we were designing this, this project, we ran into a couple design issues that a lot of engineers and artists like their proprietary software. However, we didn't really trust the operating system that they have to run the proprietary software on. So I designed a server that could be embedded inside the machine itself to keep it self-contained. When we drop the machine, we don't want anybody to have to take a file out, comma, put a file back in. So I used a Linux on the underground, and from there, I virtualized the different proprietary softwares and operating systems to run individual needs per use. If you want to learn more about Millibot, please visit www.millibot.com.